I'm gonna get a double one. All right, shallow one. Real Hebrew Israelites coming in. We can recap prophecy on the downfall of American society. Starting off, when to give all praise, all honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Rashab, Bashim, Rachakodash. Yahweh is a truly powerful name. Who the world even calls God, Yahweh is a truly powerful name. Who the world even calls Jesus, Bashim, in the name of Rachakodash, Holy Spirit. Means it means Holy Spirit. It's a lot. Rachakodash, Holy Spirit. Literally, Shabbat Shalom, Spirit, Holy. All right, Rachak, Spirit, Kodash, Holy. I want to give the honor to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Who rule well and teach well and be in greater than we touch on our brothers. And peace bless through all full leg, low will part in number. I'm the Brother Kudar from the GMA Brand Chicago. Come back with another video. Just on this, um, just cutting this December 21st shit again. All right, um, this is some madness, man. I'm gonna read it. It says, on December 21st, black people, which we are Israelites, are not supposed to get quote unquote superpowers. Let me try to explain this. On December 21st, we are having once-in-a-lifetime planetary alignment between Saturn and Jupiter and Saturn. It would be so so aligned that it would look like one planet. Now, if you read the Bible, you know that black American Israelites are, you know, and it's not just the so-called Negroes, the Latinos, the Native Americans as well, which are the Israelites, along with the speckled birds, you know, that look like these other nations, but their bloodline go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know. Pursuing the numbers one and eighteen. I said Israelites are God's chosen people. They literally explain in the Bible how his chosen people would be under a curse for four hundred years. You know, no it wasn't under a curse for four hundred years, you know. It surely they got a zeal but not according to knowledge. All right. And we was under four hundred thirty, you know, four hundred thirty years of slavery in Egypt, man. That they already passed, you know. So it wasn't even four hundred years, it was four hundred thirty, man. Alright, because the first 30 years, uh, Joseph was second in command of the Pharaoh. Then you had a new Pharaoh who got jealous, you know, because the Israelites were, you know, who constantly grow. It was way more mighty than them. And he, he, you know, made a military tactic, you know, move, you know, and put us in uh, captivity, man. You know, but that all had to happen for the Lord to deliver us, man. Okay. It says where they will be enslaved, shipping, shipped to an unfamiliar land and oppressed for 400 years. They will not know who they really are, people. Enlightenment, they actually hold it until curse has, that they actually hold until the curse has lifted. December 21st marked the, that 400 year mark. And black people are coming out of the curse and will be more in tune, more enlightened on December 21st. <clears throat> That's it. Stop making a joke out of everything. I for one am very excited. You know, he's really an idiot, man. That thinks you know something. You know. Alright, um has a zeal but not a corner of knowledge, man. Let's get this act seven. Act seven and six. And the most high spake. Alright, just this 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 um you know if it you know a you know they say so called Negroes are brought here, you know, in sixteen nineteen. You know, so 2019, we already passed that. That will make 400 years, man. All right? Hey, we still here. <laughs> okay? Hey, that, that scripture says, you know, no man know what time or date, you know, that the Lord will go come back. Not even yet, the Lord, how shy, know the exact. So, like, I don't know why my, keeps, my stuff keep shutting off, man. This shit is annoying. But, you know, not even how shy, know when his father, yeah, how we going to get him the green light to come down here, man. All right, we know it's near, but we don't know the exact date, you know. This is uh, Acts 7 and 6, and the most high speak unto the wise, that this she shall sojourn a strange land, that they should bring them into the bondage and treat them evil 400 years. And the nations to whom they shall be in bondage will I judge. And that was in Egypt, man, that already happened, said the most high, and after that shall they come forth. They served me in this place, and he gave him covenant of circumcision and so abraham begat isaac and circumcised him the eighth day and isaac begat jacob and jacob begat the twelve patriarchs <coughs> and the patriarchs moved to envy all right and said to jo joseph into egypt but the most high was with him man all right now let's get to the part okay acts 7 and 18 till another king rose you know this is basically like a summary okay uh It says, Tell another king rule. But the time of the promise drew nigh, which the Most High has sworn unto Abraham, the people grew and multiplied in Egypt. Till another king rose, which knew not Joseph. You know? So he didn't know Joseph, man. He didn't care. 
you know, jo jo hey, Joseph was no longer second in command, man. All right, it says the same dealt with subtly who our kindred and evil and treated our fathers so that they cast out their young men, children, and to the end that they might not live, man. In which time Moses was born, it was exceeding fair and nourished up in his father's own three months, man. All right. Now let's get Exodus, the first chapter. Exodus 1 and 6. And Joseph died, and all his brethren, and all that generation. And the children of Israel were fruitful, and increased abundantly, and multiplied and waxed exceedingly mighty. Okay? And the land was filled with them, man. Are not our people fruitful? Do not our people love to have sex, man? You know, are not our people mighty? We the mightiest people on the planet. Now there arose a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto the people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come and let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply and they come to pass that would there fall if out any war, they join us, join also unto our enemies and fight against us. And so get them up out of their land. Okay? Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with burdens, and they built for Pharaoh treasure city, pot them around you. You know? So we, we was a captivity, you know? Hey, we built the damn pyramids, man. That was our people, man. Right? But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. Because our people never, uh, our people, you know, they got that quote, I don't die, I multiply. That's our people, man. All right? Where can they get that from? <laughs> Getting exterminates, man. Exterminate us, man. We just sent to the sea. All right? You know, that, that was pretty much the point, man. Um... You know, hey, we are, we still under the curses, man. Hey, December twenty first is still gonna be the same, even though the curses are, you know, going to our enemies. You know, that's what the scripture said, but we still under the curses, man. All right. And the four hundred year prophecy was already that already was fulfilled, man. We we not in Egypt no more. We in spiritual Egypt now. All right. And we will be delivered from the land of the north. I want to give all praise, all and the glory to Yahweh Shemashabash Shemachakudash Shalom in the Bible Ball.